Jack? Jack, are you there? It's me. This place is magical. It brought us back together. Isn't it amazing? The two of us going off in different directions and it all happened to lead us right to this door. You know, Jack, you are my home. You are where I feel safest and loved. Welcome home. Everything. A man, a man to love who loved me back, and, and friends, the most incredible, wonderful friends. Oh. How do you just lose it all in the blink of an eye? How does it all go so wrong? Allison, it's all our fault. real as it gets. And I'm not going anywhere, ever again. Let's just stay on this train like we talked about, okay? Let's never get off. Let's just stay and let's just ride it out. Why don't we just stay in this bed, huh? I can take that. I can take that. What? I just can't get over it. Us. Together, a whole lifetime together. I know. I mean, ever since you and I have left each other, I mean, we've had this, like, this ticking clock hanging over us. And no matter how much we wanted to be together, or how much we loved each other, we knew that it, it really couldn't last. But think of it. I mean, now you and I, we can, we can make plans. A, f a future, a future. Wow. I, I never thought I'd be able to say that word. But, you know, what? truthfully, I'm pretty much digging the present right now. You know, just how smooth your skin feels up against mine. How incredible you smell. How sweet your lips taste. Oh, yay! We made it. Okay, you two, listen. Your nap. Come on, you want to take the bear with you? Yeah, come on. You well, they need a nap, do they? Huh? Come right. on. Well, wait till you see what we have planned for this afternoon. Come on, sweet pea, let's go. This afternoon? Oh, great. Okay. Got the park, the zoo, the carousel, and ten blocks of shopping all before lunch. It's got to be a record even for you. Ah, home sweet home, huh? Really weird. They just uh, fell on the bed. They didn't even complain. They're out. Imagine that. <laughs> what? Uh, nothing. Nothing. I just keep picturing the look on your face when you almost fell off the carousel when you were reaching so hard to grab that brass ring. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. That was worth it just to see you smile again. I, you know, I think that that's sort of the hardest part to handle is, um... I, well, I'm... Having a good I, time. Yeah, having a good time. Well, Doc is in some hospital thousands of miles away. So, what do you suggest we do? We, uh, feel guilty? It's gonna help him get better, help the kids? Because we can do that. I mean, there's no one better at guilt than the Irish. You know something? It just must be god-awful for you, huh? Being right all the time. It's a burden, but you know you get used to it. Lucy. Where 
Where's Lucy? I need to talk to my wife. so funny. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about what if we were actually stayed on this train like we had talked about. People like knocking on the door. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's to stop us? Huh? I'm game. I was going to oh. leave Port Charles anyway. And I've got no ties there anymore. Of course, there's, there's Lucy. And we, we can send her a postcard. <laughs> So I, I found out that the, the baby that he's carrying isn't mine. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? Because I know that, um, you know, you were really growing to really like the idea of being a father and raising a family and, and being a part of that. I want that with you, Allison. I've, I've only ever wanted that with you. Someday. You know what? Right now, right now is our time. Yeah. Just, just to be together. Just you and me. You know. And you know what? We, we should stay on this train. That's what we should do. We, we should just take it as far as we want and, and just see where it takes us. Just see where life takes us. This is, you know, as long as we're together, nothing else matters, right? What do you say? I just can't believe how lucky I am. Are you? You're, are, you are you looking at this face? Yes, but all the miracles I'm... that you've ever given me, I mean, how do I begin to repeat it? I'm trying to make something. definitely should just stop feeling guilty because, well, for one thing, Doc wouldn't like that. In fact, he would hate it. In fact, he told me that I shouldn't wait. I should just move on. That was certainly a stab in the heart. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's okay. But, but you're right. All this we're doing, you know, it's good being away and everything. So, um, I want to say thank you for this trip and for... Everything. You know, truth be told, I should be thanking you. Um, and that would be for what? I really did have fun today. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm really glad. And I thought I'd, I'd forgotten how since, uh... I know since. <sighs> first time in a long time that that ache inside of me didn't hurt. Quite as much. So, so maybe some of the preaching that I'm doing, you know, this free advice that I'm giving you, maybe maybe some of that applies to me as well. Maybe time does heal a lot of things. Time and good friends. Good friends. Yeah. You are my friend. My friend. I'm. I mean, you're. Uh, you're my best friend. Uh, but I. But, but what, well, I, I, mean, I, no, I just, I've, I've been thinking about this. I, I just may come out wrong, but I'm, you know, I'll say it anyway, because that's what I do. I want you to be happy. So I think eventually, you know, down the road, someone's going to call on, you're going to meet them, and you're going to fall madly in love, and I want that for you desperately, because I want you to be happy. You, you of all people, deserve to be happy. Well, you too, I mean. Well, I know, but no, I'm... it doesn't work that way for me. It's, it's different. Um, 
I mean, it's, you see, Doc's here, but I mean, he, he's not here. It's really worse than when he was missing. Lucy. No, now, I... now I know where he is. See, I, he's there in that hospital, but it's not really him. It's just some stranger. You know, he has the face of the man that I love, but he's just some evil thing. So I'm not sure what I deserve. What, what do I do with that? I mean, how do I move on from that? You know, I really don't know what the hell I was thinking, telling Lucy not to wait. I mean, <laughs> I don't know really where that came from, but, you know, knowing her, she's probably been glued right by the phone waiting for me to call. Hey, it's Lucy. I'm going to be out of town for the next few days, but if you need to reach me, you can get me in New York at the Plaza Hotel. Lucy, let's go. I'm coming. Okay, I have to run on. I will definitely call you when I get back. Ta. I don't believe it. She's with him. Dry skin is a nasty little problem. But extra dry skin, now that. Jack. We were so happy here once. Now that seems like a million years ago. You have overslept. It's time to get ready. Ready? Yeah. Jamal and Allison are coming over for dinner, remember? I don't understand. Aren't you... Aren't you angry with me? <laughs> what would I have to be angry about, Livy? Like, where do I begin, Jack? I mean, Caleb... Oh, Caleb. And, and Allison in the candle shop and how I lied about my father and... Hey. They hate me. You all... You all hey, hate me. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not making any sense. Oh my God, I must have been dreaming. That sounds like more of a nightmare to me. It was a nightmare. Jack, it was horrible. You didn't love me anymore. I thought... I thought I lost you forever. Well, that is never gonna happen. Because I can never stop loving you. Everyone thought I was this... this terrible, evil person, and they hated me, especially you and Allison. Well, you have quite an imagination. I love you so much, Olivia. And I always will. do that go off on you quite like that you, you probably don't even know what the heck i'm trying to say or what i'm talking no, I, about I, uh, I think i do you can't mourn the man not really because 
He's still here, see? You can't allow yourself to heal. That's it. I... I guess... You, you understand things. I wish I could tell you that it's all gonna be fine, that he's gonna snap out of this and... No, I know you can't tell me that. Nobody... Nobody can tell me that. No. But, but maybe I can tell you something. Something that I do know. We have to be strong and capable and in control for our kids, even if it's the last thing we're feeling. That is just so hard sometimes. Yeah, I know. And I, I remember when... when Eve died, I, uh... I was a mess. You know, I mean, you, know you were there. But I, I did try to, to find a reason every day just to get out of bed in the morning. And then you reminded me of, of the most important reason. Danny. He's, uh, he'd been through so much, you know. Losing his mother and I wasn't there for him and I, I knew I had to, had to snap out of it. You know, I owed him that much and I, I, I owed it to Eve. Same way that you owe it to Christina. You gotta be strong, okay? I, I know, you're right, you, you're so right. She, she really needs me to, um, make her feel safe and protected. It's just, what about us grown-ups? I don't know, you take care of Christina, and I'll take care of you. bad dreams like that ever again. Yeah. <laughs> I just... God, I just really thank God that's all I was. It was just so horrifying and... and real of hey, what my hey. life had become. Don't think about it. It's just... I felt so empty. I felt so empty inside without, without any love in my life. I felt so empty without you in my... Jack? No, Jack, please. Please, Jack! It's don't leave me alone. No. Yeah, like little angels are sleeping there like mom will not have a care in the world. As it should be for the wee ones. Right. What about us big ones, the not so wee ones, huh? You'll get through this. We'll get through this, I promise you. Somehow, knowing that you're gonna be by my side, I think I believe that. Oh, it's the phone. It's a concierge. I, I begged her for... Lion King ticket, you answer that phone and tell her we need him desperately. Oh, I hope she got him. Cross your fingers. Come on, come on, come on. Cross, Cross your toes. Fingers. Hello? Hello? Hello, is anyone there? That must be the wrong number. Oh, no, I've got exactly the right number. Marking this IOU here, paid in full. No, we're not. We have it. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I think we can use is a little mood music. Um, I, I couldn't get much more in the mood than I am right now, but sure. <laughs> sure, you, you can. So. I'm not really sure what this gets. That's pretty good. Do you think? Portugal. 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Naked eyes. On the next Port Charles, I made a list of all the plus and minuses in our relationship. And? And the minuses went by a mile. I'm just glad to see that you're making so much progress. Did you miss any of Port Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Port Charles episodes, Saturday at 3.30 p.m. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.